you know, as far as I'm yeah. concerned, there's nothing, there's nothing out there. Take martial arts, for example, that's done no specific testing that's done exactly for martial arts. You know, there's no course, no certification on it, whatever. Not yet. Um, not yet, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, a lot of people are just doing kind of like everything that they've been taught and not actually knowing, you know, this is going to fit in to yeah. help him here. This is going to fit in to help him here. But what they need to do is take the approach of like, you know, finding what, getting all those, I guess, methods together and figure out what works for them. Yeah, that's it. So like I it, take yeah. something, you take something from FMS, I take something from FRA, I take something from all these different, you know, uh, testing parameters or testing tools. And I make sure it fits for that individual and what I'm really trying to see so I can correlate that program. So, you know, whatever the case may be, whether it be, you know, a single leg lateral broad jump where I can actually test out explosive power from the lateral side of the body, you know, or, you know, and how well that's going to correlate into a fight, being able to be in and out and move better um, through the fight. And especially I just got done, you know, testing Frank Yeager. So I wanted to see exactly what was going on. The first thing you do is you sit him down and you actually ask him what's going on and why he feels he needs this training. Another thing is that you look at film, you look at videos of the athlete, you look at film of the fighter for me. I'm going to look at how they move and why they move in certain ways and what we need to do to get them better. And for us, and it's no secret Frank Yeager needs more explosive power. He needs that one punch knockout power or at least have the ability to crack. And so I was trying to correlate everything around that particular uh, asset that he needs to improve upon. So whether it be mobility, whether it be power, whether it be strength, all these things that I did in that test, I took some something from FMS, I took something from FRA, I took something from my own mind and I put it together in a testing parameter so that now I know what I needed to do to program form and now we are making the steps in the right direction to do so, if mm. that makes sense. Yeah, that's it, that's it yeah. yeah, and yeah, don't get me wrong, like baseline, baseline testing is needed, like, you know, obviously you've got to know, you've got to know where their weaknesses are, you've got to know where you want them to go as well. Um, so baseline testing is needed, but just make sure you're not just putting them through a range of tests because that's what you've been taught, so that's what you should do, you know? Mm. Like, make sure every single yeah. test that you do has, you know, has its place in their training program or, you know, whatever you're looking for, you know you know exactly why you're doing that test. Same, same as anything, you yeah. know, in, in every single session, in a warm-up, in, you know, in the weights you're doing, in whatever you're doing, in the conditioning, you know, you should be able to relate every single thing you do back to why you're doing it you know, and back to the sport you're doing it for. So, um, you know, you haven't yeah. got enough time with the fighters to, to do, you know, or for any, with any athlete, generally the S&C coach hasn't got enough time with them to do pointless stuff that... 